Hello and welcome back in our kitchen. Today, I'll show you how to make red velvet crinkle cookies. On the screen, you will see all the necessary ingredients for these cookies. Let's begin. On the stove, in a medium-sized saucepan, we will prepare a double boiler, where we will melt the chocolate. Make sure that the glass bowl does not touch the boiling water. Melt the chocolate completely. Once ready, move from the stove and let it cool. In a medium-sized bowl, mix the flour, baking powder, cocoa powder, and salt. Mix them well. and leave on the side for later. Let's make the cookie dough. In the stand mixer with the paddle attachment ready, begin adding the butter and the brown sugar. We are using a stand mixer, but keep in mind, you can mix all the ingredients by hand as well. Once mixed, lower the speed and add the eggs one at a time. Pour in the vanilla essence. Next, let's add in the flour mixture. Do this one spoon at a time. We need to have a smooth, thick consistency. Give it a good mix until all the ingredients are well mixed. Now it's time to add the fully cooled melted chocolate. If needed, Use a spatula to scrape the sides of your mixer bowl. Lastly, add the red velvet color. I only like to use a little, so the cookies won't turn bright red, but rather stay chocolatey with a hint of red velvet. Once the cookie dough is ready, cover the bowl with plastic wrap and place in a refrigerator for 30 minutes. Once the dough has hardened, we are ready to begin shaping our cookie. With a spoon, shape a ball between your palms. Dip it in powdered sugar and press it down slowly. Make sure to space your cookies in the baking tray covered with baking mat 
or parchment paper. They will expand while baking. This recipe makes 30 to 36 cookies depending on how big you make them. Once you have filled your tray, it's time to bake. Bake them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 12 to 14 minutes. We hope you enjoy these Christmas cookies. See, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you next time in our kitchen.